Hello YouTube, so today in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the presence of God, well the physical presence of God and how when Moses and Aaron encountered it that they saw a brief glimpse of it and how amazing it was then and the physical feats that it took to create this sort of presence and how if it was amazing then and how much more amazing will it be to be in the very presence of God and see him in his full glory and, all, and his full aspect of who he is. So, uh, to explain, uh, if we go to Exodus chapter 24, verses 9 to 10, and it says, Then Moses went up, also Aaron, Nahab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, paved a work of sapphire stone, and it was like the very heavens in its clarity. So as we can see here, this was just God's feet that were shown, and just his feet alone, under his under his feet it was like sapphire stone, just his very presence alone was enough to turn mountain rock into sapphire stone. And so if we if we go to what sapphire what it takes to make sapphire, uh basically it forms about six to six to eighteen miles uh under in the earth's crust and under intense pressures and high and high temperatures of above 800 degrees celsius a transformed sed uh, sedimentary water deposited rocks such as silica stones and shale so as we can see here that is his feet alone they can perform this feat they what normally takes intense pressures and high temperatures uh, require high temperatures of 800 degrees celsius six to 18 miles under the earth god's feet can do it just like that if his if his very feet can do that so just a and that's just his feet that can perform that feet his very presence just his presence of his feet can cause that sort of change in the physical in the physical world just imagine what uh just imagine what his presence will be like when we when we all go to heaven and see his full aspect of his glory forever and ever just imagining that and that's that's uh, uh i'd i'd want to experience that in heaven as well and i think that's another uh, good reason to like wanting to know god more and more his very feet can cause it can cause this sort of change in in the physical world just imagine what he's like as a as as god and his attributes like love mercy and compassion and all that and his awesome raw power just in imagining all that. So uh, this is the end of the YouTube video. So if you want to put your faith in Jesus Christ and then have a turn life in heaven, then let us pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe I'm a sinner and I deserve to go to hell and I can't get into heaven by my own good works. Therefore, I'm trusting in you, Lord Jesus, that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead so I could have a turn life in heaven. Lord Jesus forevermore. I thank you now, Lord, that my name is writ written in the book of life, and that I have eternal life in heaven with you forevermore, and I am saved and always saved forevermore, and to all the glory of God's good Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, uh, well, congratulations. Now you're saved. Thank you for putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Now you have eternal life in heaven more so what i recommend now is uh do your research uh find a good church that believes in the basic core doctrines of christianity uh have find a good bible to read i recommend new king james version or the can't read that uh, english standard version or niv version whatever version you feel comfortable with and is easy to understand and read and uh find a good church that can help you grow and develop your faith as well and christians will help develop your relationship with Jesus Christ. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments section down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.